it's time for another English Tastic episode, where learning English is always fun and fantastic. I am your English Tastic teacher, Teacher Dash. Hello, how are you today? I hope you are doing great and excited to learn new things in English. We will surely have some fun today as we try to learn the consonant digraphs CH and SH. For today's episode, you are expected to read words, phrases, sentences, and short stories consisting of words with the consonant digraphs CH and SH. But before anything, let us recall what we have learned from our past episode. Let us have the English recap. In our last episode, we talked about consonant blends. A consonant blend is made up of consonants found next to each other in a word where you say the sound each one makes as you pronounce the word. They can be two letters or three letters long. You can find a consonant blend at the beginning or at the end of a word. Here are some examples of consonant blends at the beginning of the word. Bless, star, flower, play, clap, and slice. And here are some examples of consonant blends at the end of the word. Task, best, soft, sand, corn, and silk. And now, it is time to learn consonant digraphs. Again, consonants are all of the letters that are not vowels. These letters also have unique sounds. Understanding various sounds is important in reading. Unique sounds may be formed by combining various sounds. Digraphs are important sounds produced after combining different sounds. And to help us learn about digraphs, may I present to you our word machine. It will produce some words that will help us later on as we try to understand and use digraphs in phrases, sentences, and short stories. Are you ready to find out what this machine can do? Great! So what are you waiting for? Grab your English module, paper, and pencil, and let us go! Hey look! Our word machine has produced some words. I think we need to arrange the words to form a sentence. Let us read the words first. Cells, seashells, she, seashore, by, the. I guess this sentence is one of the most common tongue twister that we are familiar with. Let us arrange the words and find out. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I know this. It is, she sells seashells by the seashore. We got it! Oh, here is another set of words. Tune, children, charming, chant, cheerful. It's another tongue twister. It is charming children chant cheerful tunes. All right, we arranged the words and we came up with two tongue twisters. Now going back to the first tongue twister, what sound keeps on repeating? When you say she, shells, and shore. Correct! The sh sound. Can you please sound it out again? Shh. Okay. How about for the second tongue twister? What repeated sound are you hearing? That's right. The sh sound. Can you please repeat the sound? All right. Thank you. The sh and the sh 
sounds are considered consonant digraphs. Consonant digraphs are two consonants next to each other that produce only one sound, unlike the consonant blends. When you see an SH in SHE, it does not make an S sound followed by an H sound. The two consonants S and H make one sound, and it sounds like SH, as in SHE, PUSH, SHAL, WASH, SHOW, and FISH. CH is also a consonant digraph. Together, the two consonants still make one sound, which is CH, as in children, SHARE, WHICH, REACH, and TEACH. Now let us see if you can use the correct digraphs in naming the following objects. Directions Write CH or SH on the blank to reveal the name of the given objects. Write your answer on your paper. You have 3 seconds to answer each item. Number 1 It is a chair. It uses the CH digraph. Number 2 Sheep We use the SH digraph Number 3 CH for cheese Number 4 SH for shell Number 5 SH for ship. Number 6. CH for cherry. Number 7. SH for shovel. Number 8. SH for shark. Did you get all of them right? Amazing! Let us read once again the words with consonant digraphs that you formed a while ago. Words with a CH digraph Chair Cheese Cherry Words with an SH digraph Sheep Shell Sheep Shovel Shark this time, let us take a tour of the digraph gallery. Wait! I think the pictures are missing. Oh no! The pictures are still scattered. Will you help me paste them in their corresponding frames? Great! Let's begin! In the first frame, we need the picture of a fish. Which of these pictures shows a fish? Alright! This one! Let us paste it now. In the next frame, we need a picture of a ship. Which of these is a ship? Okay, this one. In the third frame, we need a picture of a shell. This one is a shell. Next, we need a picture of a brush. This is a brush. For the next frame, we need a picture of a shop. This one is a shop.
For the last frame, we need a picture of a dish. This is a dish. We made it! Thanks for helping me match the pictures to their corresponding frames. Let's take a look at our digraph gallery and read the labels. Fish Ship Brush Dish Shell and Shop This time, let us use some words with digraphs in phrases. Directions Fill in the phrase with the correct word. Choose your answer from the word bank. Write it on your paper. Church Cheese Children Chicken Lunch Number 1 A delicious blank Number 2 An antique blank Number 3 Playful blank Number 4 a blank in the farm. Number five, melt the blank. Here are the answers. Number one, a delicious lunch. Number two, an antique church. Number three, playful children. Number four, a chicken in the farm. Number five, melt the cheese. Well done, kids! This time, let us listen to some poems with consonant digraphs CH and SH from our friends. Listen to their poems and take note of the words with the consonant digraphs CH and SH. You may write them in your notebook. Sharky Three pirates on a shabby ship Went sailing on a fishing trip they fished all day and they fished all night, but there was not a fish in sight. Then, in the shadows of the dark, they saw a fish and shouted, Shark! The shark pushed on the shabby ship, and it began to shake and tip. The ship went down with such a crash. The pirates had to splish and splash. When Sharky saw the splashing crew, she finished up. Some pirates too. Let us read the words with consonant digraphs from the poem Sharky. You may check your notes to see if you were able to write all the words with consonant digraphs. Shabby Ship Fishing Fished, fish, shark, she, shadows, crash, shake, splish, splash, finished. Here is another poem from another friend. Again, please listen and list down in your notebook all the words with the CH consonant digraph. Munch, munch. My favorite lunch begins with sh. It's cheeseburger and chips. I love to drink hot chocolate and get froth all around my lip. I love to chew cold chicken. I love to munch on cheese. But if I eat a cherry, it makes me sneeze and sneeze. My favorite foods begin with sh. I love to crunch on chops. But if mom gives me chili beans, I yell and jump and hop. Just like what we did a while ago, let us read the words with the CH consonant blend from the poem Munch Munch. Again, you can also check your notes if you listed all the words with consonant digraphs. Now here is another activity for you to do. Directions Encircle the words with consonant digraphs in the sentences. 
then classify them using the given table. Number 1. Bob can catch a fish. What are the words with consonant digraphs here? That's right, catch and fish. Number 2. She will make lunch. How about in this sentence? Yes, she and lunch are the words with consonant digraphs. Number 3. Mom shops with cash. Do you think shops and cash have consonant digraphs? Oh, yes! Number 4. We chopped off a brunch. In this sentence, what are the words with consonant digraphs? Chop and brunch are correct. Number 5. The mouse stole the cheese on the shelf. Do you think cheese and shelf have consonant digraphs? Yes, they sure do. Now classify the encircled words accordingly in the table. Write all the CH words in the first column and all the SH words in the second column. Now let us check your work. Under the CH words are catch, lunch, shop, branch, and cheese. Under the SH words are fish, she, shop, cash, and shelf. How many correct answers did you get? That's brilliant! Again, when a C and an H come together, they sound like what? They sound like ch, like the sound you hear from the choo-choo train. The CH says ch, the CH says ch. Every digraph makes the sound the CH says ch. And when an S and an H come together, they sound like ch, like the sound you say when you want quiet. Ch. The SH says ch. The SH says sh. Every digraph makes the sound the SH says sh. Knowing the sounds of the letters very well can help you read and spell the words correctly. This time, let us spell out some words with consonant digraphs using a crossword puzzle. Use the words from the word bank to complete the crossword puzzle. Let us start with the words going down. What is the animal inside the aquarium? Right, it is a fish. F I S H. The next one is a thing we use for our hair. It is a brush. B R U S H. Then we have a thing we use to tie our pet. Leash is correct. L E A S H. Now let us move on to the words going across. The first one is a sea creature with big sharp teeth. Shark is right. S H A R K. Then we have a tool for gardening. Right, that is a shovel. S H O V E L. Next one is a thing that kids love to collect by the seashore. It comes in different shapes and colors. That is right. It is a shell. S-H-E-L-L. -L. The last one is one of our basic needs. 
We wear it with style. Shirt is correct. S H I R T. Hooray! We did it! We accomplished the SH crossword puzzle. Do you want more? All right, let us have the CH crossword puzzle. Again, use the words from the word bank to complete the crossword puzzle. This time, let us start with the words going across. The first one is a place that we love to visit during the summer. Beach is right. B E A C H. Next one is a part of a tree. Birds love to build their nest on it. All right. Brunch is correct. B R A N C H. Then this one is a type of food that mice love. You got it! It is cheese. C H E E S E. Now let us move on to the words going down. Let us start with a thing that we sit on. We have it in our living room or in school and in some other places. Chair is right. C-H-A-I-R Next one is still a thing we use to sit on but two or more people can sit on it at the same time. We usually see it in a park. Bench is correct. B E N C H. Then we have a thing that is used for writing on the board. We have lots of this in school. That is right. It's chalk. C H A L K The last one is a fruit that is red, round, tiny, and yummy. That is a cherry. C H E R R Y English Tastic Work Children we completed the CH crossword puzzle. Again, let us recall all the words we used in the crossword puzzle, both the CH and SH words. Let's read them. CH, beach, chair, brunch, bench, cheese, chalk, cherry. SH, Brush, shell, leash, shark, fish, shovel, shirt. And as your final task, please choose at least three words from the crossword puzzles and use them in a sentence. Ask someone to help you do this. All right, children, that is it for today. We have learned that two consonants that come together and produce only one sound are called consonant digraphs. The SH and CH combinations are examples of consonant digraphs. You don't sound out the S and the H individually in SH and the C and the H individually in CH. Instead, you make only one sound, which is SH in an SH digraph and a sh sound in a ch digraph. Hooray for today! I hope you have learned and will remember some words with consonant digraphs for we will still be talking about them in our next English-tastic episode. 
only here on DepEd TV. I am your English-tastic teacher, Teacher Dash, saying bye-bye!